All right, guys, it's Cake here, and uh, I'm just making this short little video. Let me see if I can move this over. Uh, yep, okay, that worked. Um, anyway, I'm just making this little video because one of my fans asked me how to make a Terraria Hamachi server. And uh, I was, you know, started suggesting some stuff that you could go look at for it, but, like, all the information was scattered out all over the place, like six different videos and a bunch of different websites just to figure out what to do. And uh, I'm hoping in this video I can simplify make people's lives a little bit simpler uh, and uh, I'm gonna try to include everything in this video for you know whoever's trying to make a server first off you're gonna wanna get log me in Hamachi which you can easily find just by googling it and uh, let me actually let me actually show you something on the site uh, I just need to turn um, there we go and uh, I'm uploading a video right now, so this upload time is going to be a little slow, but just stick with it, hopefully. And uh, hopefully, there we go. There it goes, and let's see how long the site takes up. Takes a lot to have. Uh, there. See how long the site takes to load up. Uh, do, 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 do some theme music while you wait. Alright, you're going to go to the site, you want to click unmanaged. Get download now, you want to condition of use accepted accept ex yeah you know what I mean the words are that are all there they're just kind of jumbled up anyway once you do that you're gonna want to open log me in Amachi well actually you want to do something else first probably you are gonna want to go to where is a control panel you want to open up your firewall because you're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, port forwarding and this is a simpler way of doing it I've seen people try telling people doing it this extremely annoying and hard way to do it. Well, it's not really hard, but it's annoying. This is the simpler version. It works just fine. You want to click on Advanced Settings, and then uh, once you're in here, you're going to go to Inbound Rules. And once you're in Inbound Rules, you will see a uh, option on the right side of the screen where it says Act Under Actions. You're going to want to click on New Rule. <laughs> and then you're going to select Port. And then on the left side, you'll see protocol and ports. Click on that, select TCP, and then for the port, just put four sevens. And that will work just fine. Click next, allow the connection, and I leave I leave all those checks, but I checked, uh, but I don't know if you really have to or not. Next, and then you're going to want to name it, just name it whatever. -ra 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 -ra. I don't know if it really matters what you spell it as. Finish. And then after you're done with that, you can close this shit out because you don't need this window anymore. You can close this one too. Alright, and then what you want to do is uh, make sure your friend has a Machi too. You're going to create a new network. Now you're going to name the network ID, name it wherever you want, something simple, say it's Ethan. And then you're going to name the pa you know, use the password. Uh, it can be simple too if you want, just, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to click create. But I'm not going to do that because I already, you don't need to. Uh, and then you're going to select, your friend is going to join an existing network. And say if you didn't name it, your network, Ethan, and your password was 12345, that's what they would type in. And they click join. And then after that, they should be connected to your uh, network. You should see, like, you know, their names right here in green or whatever, if they are connected to you. And then you're going to right click all these numbers at the top. Uh, I have a blurred out because I don't want people seeing my IP address, so you just click copy IPv4. You should see my mouse at least a little bit somewhere. You just right click over in this general area. And then what you're going to do, you're going to open up Terraria, and uh, hopefully it comes up pretty quickly. But it might not, like I said, I'm uploading a video, so. Yay, new gaming video! <sighs> no, it's not that big of a deal. It's just it's just another Terraria video, actually. And uh, uh come on. Ah. Let's see. I told you it's gonna take a while. Uh, well, I think here it goes. Mm -hmm. All right, there was a little bit of a problem with the editing, but anyway, we're back in Terraria. And what you're going to want to do is go to multiplayer. If you're hosting it, you want to go to host and play. Uh, pick whichever character you want to play as. Pick the world that you want to do. And then you enter the server password. And then you click accept. But if you're the person that wants to join the server, you're going to click join. You're going to pick whichever character you want to play as. Enter the server IP, which is what your friend should have given you when he um, 
got it from his Mahamachi thing. You're gonna click accept, and then it's probably gonna ask you for a um, pass server password, and your friend should know what that is too, or whoever's hosting the server. And then it should ask you for the port number too, and whoever made the server should also know that. Which is if you follow the directions of this video to the to the letter, then uh, it should be four sevens. You know, seven 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 seven. All right, I guess that's it. Uh, tell me if this video helped you guys at all. If it didn't, tell me why. Tell me what I need to do to improve it. And um, I guess that's uh, I guess that's it. All right, see ya.